eye contact, gaze redirection. It's about keeping your eyes looking at the camera when you're talking about something in video. So using eye contact in videos can help to create a sense of connection and engagement with the viewer. It can also help to convey confidence and credibility. Additionally, maintaining good eye contact can help keep the viewer's attention and make the video more engaging overall. So I'm using that technique right now, and I'm going to show you how I've set that up. So while it looks like I'm looking at the camera all the time, I'm actually not. However, it's not all good. There are several problems associated with using eye contact gaze correction in videos. For example, eye contact gaze correction algorithms may not be accurate, resulting in unnatural or uncomfortable looking gaze. Eye contact correction may result in video that looks artificial or fake, as as the person's gaze may not match their body language or facial expressions. If you wear glasses, like I do, that can also be a problem. I'll just show that now. If I move my glasses down, you can see that my eyes jump around a little bit. It works better if you take the glasses off. I'm actually looking all over the place now. Okay, so there's also ethical concerns. Some people may feel that using eye contact gaze correction is unethical, as it may be seen that I'm manipulating your attention or emotions. It can also be costly and time consuming. I'm gonna show you how to do this yourself so you don't have to pay anyone to do this for you, but it is time consuming. There's also limited use cases. It only works really well when you're positioning yourself in front of the camera like I am. If I was walking around, it would be a bit of a problem, but it may still work. You need to experiment. So anyway, that's enough talk. I'm I'm going to show you how to set this up so that we can use it in OBS and then later you can then use the virtual camera option just here start virtual camera and then you can use the video from OBS as an input in your zoom calls Skype Slack Telegram Signal or any other video conferencing software so unfortunately it's not as simple as ticking a box in OBS just yet but it probably will be within a year or two of making this video it will probably also be something that is an option in your video editing software as well so but right now it's a little bit complicated and I'll show you the steps but good news is in the last week there has been an update to the software and it's easier than it used to be anyway I'll show you so what you got to do is you have to register an account with NVIDIA NGC okay so I'm on the NVIDIA NGC catalog page and that's the URL and I'll put that URL in my description what you're looking for is the Maxine Windows AR SDK now it's not so easy to find and especially if you have to register a user account before you can actually download as well so if you don't register your user account you won't have the download option but another way of finding the Maxine Windows AR SDK is to go to catalog and start typing in AR Maxine Windows AR SDK and there we go we're at the same page now what I'm actually interested here in the Windows AR SDK is this one option here being eye contact which simulates eye contact by estimating and aligning gaze with the camera to enhance engagement in video communication so there are quite a few other fun little tools you might want to play with at the same time anyway eye contact is the one I'm looking at now okay so we need to download it the browser direct download or you can go to the file browser tab there and we can download 082.0 now this has only just been modified three days ago so before then you had 081 and that was a little more problematic to set up but this is much easier so download it by clicking that option or that option there and I've already done that it's a zip file and you'll need to extract it into a folder on your computer somewhere once again, I've already done that. I've put it onto a disk on my computer that has plenty of room. I've created a folder called NVIDIA AR SDK and extracted all the contents of that zip into that folder, and this is what I have. So the actual executable that we need to start up so that we have this eye contact gaze correction happening on your video, which I'm using right now, is here in the samples folder, gaze redirect, and we run this file here, run local.bat. Now, you may not have extensions visible in your file explorer settings. I do, that's why I can see the word .bat. You can probably see just the words run underscore local. It's the same file, just open that up. Okay, just as it is. Now I'm going to stop this current session that I'm using right now and demonstrate the application and the different options you have in it. Okay, so now I'm gonna start up a new session, run local there. And this is the application running. It's got on the left is my real video. And if you look at it, you'll see my eyes will go all over the place. For example, if I'm reading some text off a script, I'm looking up and down. Whereas the redirected output on the right here, my eyes are generally pretty much always looking at the camera. It doesn't really matter where I'm looking. It's not 100% like that. If I look at the extremities of the space around me, such as over there or over there, it does look a little bit more natural. Despite the fact that I'm wearing glasses, it would be better if I wasn't wearing glasses, perhaps but I can no longer see my TV screen.
or computer monitor. It's much more convincing without glasses, I think. It's pretty good, this effect. I'm going to use glasses because I'm a bit blind without them now. Anyway, we have some options. This overlay here, this green text, we can actually turn that off so we don't have to see that in our recorded videos. That is the W key, like that, so I can toggle that on and off. Also, I don't need to have both streams visible. I can just press the O key, and now I've got just the one output showing the eye correction. That's pretty good. Now, we can use this little application here inside OBS. I have OBS opened and I have already created a specific source here that I can use in OBS. I'm just going to delete that and show you how I create that. Okay, so go down to this plus. We want to create a window capture. Okay, so I'm creating a new window capture with a new name. I'm going to call it Gaze Redirect. You can call it anything you like. It's just good if it makes sense to you. Okay. Okay, so it's automatically found the correct application because it's in my history. But here you will have a selection of windows open on your computer. You need to choose the application that the video is coming through. And that one is here, gazeredirect.exe. If we look at this application again, gazeredirect.exe, that's what the bat file opened up. We can actually look at the contents of the bat file. If we do show more options, edit, and that's it there. There's not much to see. It's just calling that gaze redirect exe file with some attributes. We can ignore all that. Okay, no longer need that. Excellent. So that's good. All the defaults are good. Press OK. We can see that it's visible in my view. Enable preview. Okay, so I can reposition this now. But before I do, I'm just going to enable the chroma key so we don't see the green screen behind me. So here in my new source, gaze redirect, if I right click, filters down here there's an option bottom left of my screen plus chroma key okay custom and i'm just going to turn that off for a second that eye icon there okay so and then i'm going to go select color pick screen color and just select sort of an average green of my green screen looks pretty good okay turn that little eye icon back on okay i've disappeared do not fret this slider here bring that down and I start to appear. I keep going, I can see my shirt and my chair behind me. So you find yourself a nice balance. You can turn smoothness right down and also color spill. Okay, so that's pretty good. Okay, close that. Now I'm going to resize that because I want it to be large in the screen. There we go, and it's roughly centered. Excellent. Now, I'm not certain that you can actually see this, but there are two gray lines that you can see down either side of my video. So you've got the red lines on the preview, but actually on my real full screen, you can see these gray lines that go down here and down here. I'm not certain that these will show up in the output video, but if you do get these, you can select the source here in your OBS control. Hold down Alt and just move that in slightly like that. Same with the other side. Now, those green lines down either side should have disappeared. Anyway, you may not experience that problem, but I do, and that's how I fixed it. Anyway, I can also turn off that preview, so that looks a little more professional, except this little bit of text behind my head. So anyway, that is using gaze redirect or eye contact correction inside OBS. Now that you have that in OBS, you can now use that in other applications by using this virtual camera option here. And if I was to enable that, the start virtual camera button, it's now active. If I was to open up another video conferencing software, for example, in the signal settings, there's an option to use the OBS virtual camera rather than using my webcam directly. So using the OBS virtual camera option, which I have started just down here, means I get the benefit of the filters and all the other things that I can do in OBS as well. So anyway, hopefully that's good information for you and you can use that and make more engaging videos for yourself. This video itself has been an experiment for me to see whether it works long term or not. I'll be watching my statistics on YouTube to see whether I have offended people. Perhaps it may have been unethical to do this or perhaps not. I don't know yet. I'll look at the statistics over time. But anyway, if you liked my video, remember to like, comment, subscribe and share. Thanks.